Hey, hope all is well. Praying that everybody day has been blessed so far. Well, today's topic is on your mark, get set, go. On your mark, get set, go, because some of y'all are about to take off. But before I get into this message, let me say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for strength. Thank you for your grace and mercy and favor. Thank you, Lord God, for helping us to stay on our mark, to set our minds on things that you would want us to, Lord God, so that we can be prepared to go when you tell us to go. But Lord God, we ask that you forgive us for anything that we may have done out of your will for the known and unknown. But Lord God, we ask you for strength, Lord God. And we know that the spirit of confusion is not of you. So Lord God, help us to rebuke anything that's coming into our life that's not of you, Lord God, in our minds, in our hearts, Lord God, or in our atmosphere, Lord God. May we rebuke right when it comes, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Help us to be alert and aware of the enemy's schemes, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. But help us to focus on you, to stand on our mark, to set our minds on you, and to be ready to go when you tell us to go, in Jesus' name. And be prepared to move when you say move. No matter where you tell us to go, uh, Lord God, position and posture our hearts to be able to go wherever you tell us to go, even if we don't understand. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree and declare that's done. You all, the Lord said, on your mark, get set, go. And he's saying on your mark because you need to stand in whatever it is that God has told you. Whatever God promised you, you're going to have to stand on it and stand on his word and stand on his promises and set your mind on whatever it is on that promise. He Set your mind on whatever it is that the Lord has promised you. Amen. Set your mind on things above, not things on the earth. Even though things are about to be coming up against you, God said, still set your mind. Keep your mind set on that promise. And God said, get ready to go when he tell you to go. And whatever, be prepared to go wherever he tell you to go. Because when that door open, you're going to be so busy. You're going to need to take a break. You're going to want to take a break. But God said, stay on your mark. Set your mind on the things what it is. And you're about to get ready to take off. Amen. He said, on your mark, get set, go. Amen. It's go time for you. And he had me to wear this green because he said, um... It's go time. It's go time. So I woke up and y'all know that I said that, you know, I'm going to be uh, looking for another church home or whatever or visiting other churches. And so that's what happened this morning. I was like, okay, God, I'll go where you tell me to go. But I didn't understand why he was telling me. I didn't, I really don't want to leave my church home. And so therefore I didn't understand why he was telling me to go. So I left this morning. Well, I ain't going to say I left. I went to go visit another church this morning and God had told me the church to go to. So I was in there this morning. Okay, I went in, they greeted or whatever, right at the door. It was a man being a pervert. Soon as you walk through the door, he kept coming up to me and it, that irritated me. And I was like, no, I don't deal with this at my other church. Y'all already know how it was going. I don't deal with this. You know, so therefore I was just like, no, I was sitting there ir irritated. And then to be honest, I was sitting there looking for a reason the way out. But God said, no, just stay there and calm down. Stay there and be still. Amen. So I just sat I sat there and I was giving the church a chance, y'all. But it got to the point when one of the deacons got up and he was talking about the pastor of the church and the first lady of the church. And she was celebrating her birthday. And guess what? They went into Zodiac and they was all with it. You see what I'm saying? And I was just like, absolutely no way. I got up and I walked up out of there because I'm not partaking in nobody else's sin. And ain't nobody finna tell me and convince me that Zodiac is okay. If you're a believer, if you're a saint, you should not be partaking in Zodiac. Amen. We should be representing in the cross at all times. Amen. You shouldn't be telling people you're a cancer, you're a Scorpio, you're a Libra, you're whatever it is. God said, no way, no how. He even told the Israelites not to partake in that pagan and that in those pagan practices. Amen. So therefore you are participating in witchcraft. You are participating in Zodiac. So therefore astrology and that stuff is against God's will. Amen. If you say you're a believer and you say you're a saint, we all have the same Bibles, amen. You should not be practicing those things. And what I felt like they was doing is telling the church, it's okay to go get your palm read. It's okay to do voodoo. It's okay to do witchcraft. That's what I felt like they were saying. So I got up and walked out, y'all. I did not participate. I did not stay not a minute more and not a minute less. And about time I got up and went back to my church home, they was laying hands. So whatever I picked up in that church, 
they cast it right on out before I walked out of there. Amen. So therefore, I prayed over myself before I went into my church home because I don't want nobody feeling like, you know, I mean, I don't want nothing that I done picked up from another church and brought it to my church home. We not finna even have that battle. We ain't even finna fight that fight because we know not to partake in stuff like that. Amen. I don't care if you non-denomination. I don't care if you a Christian or a Baptist. I don't care if you was a saint lunatic. You still shouldn't be partaking in it when you say you a child of God. Amen. And saying that, you, you know, you love the Lord. God said we die in Christ, so we shall be risen in him. Amen. That's not dying in Christ. You you you're not doing what you're supposed to do. But let me give you scripture to back up what I'm saying right here. I'm at Leviticus 19:34. It says, Regard not them that they have familiar spirit, neither seek after wiz wizards to be defiled by them. I am your Lord God. So therefore, when you partake in zodiac, when you partake in astrology, witchcraft, voodoo, sorcery. You are defiling your body. But this is my favorite one. I'm going to go to Deuteronomy um, 18, 10 through 12. And it says that there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or wizards or necrom necromancer. So therefore it says, for all that does these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God does drive them out from before thee. So therefore, do you think that the Lord is covering you in any way, shape, form, or fashion? God wants you to go consult them who you've been consulting. Go look at your astrology. Go go to the mediums and see can they save you. And to bag up what I'm saying right now, let me go to Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47, 13 says, um, it says, For thou wearied in the multitude of thy counsels, let now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly prognost prognosticers stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So therefore, when you go through something, God says, since you ain't believing in me and trusting on me and leaning to my understanding and not your own, you're going to lean to them, to mediums and to card readers, to astrologers. God said, well, call on them when you in need. Call on them. So y'all can continue to play with astrology, continue to play in pagan worship all you want. But God said that is not like him and it's an abomination and you are defiling your body. Should nobody that say they love God and is a Christian should be dealing with witchcraft, voodoo, sorcery, astrology, card readings, uh, curses, none of that. That's witchcraft. God said you should not be partaking in zodiac, amen, in astrology. So y'all keep going to read that stuff. That's y'all, God. But I know I wasn't finna partake it. I got up and left up out of there quick. And another thing that I wanted to talk about is how, you know, I felt like the Lord was telling me to know, you know, leave my church and go to that church. And then me, when I make my mind up to do something, my mind is just made up. Amen. And I was willing to go and do what God told me to do. But God was only wanting me to get that word for you all. Amen. And so therefore I went and got that word and I bring it back to myself. I didn't need that word. Not about that because I don't even play with astrology and stuff like that. But he needed y'all to get that word because I really didn't know if I was going to do a video today or not. But God said, yes, you're doing what he woke me up with on your mind get set go amen and so when i went i have to be willing to do whatever it is that the lord is telling me to do and just like you you have to be willing to do whatever god expecting you to do and want for you to do because that's how you gonna walk into your promised land is by allowing god to use you in whatever it is that he needs for you to do amen you have to be available in your mind body and your spirit amen on your mark get set go on your mark get set stay on your mark keep your mind set to be prepared to go amen if you stay ready you don't have to get Get ready when the time comes. Thus says the Lord thy God. Amen. And anyways, when I left that church and I left from my church or whatever, let me tell y'all how the enemy instantly started playing with my mind. Okay, I'm like, God, um, you told me to go and visit this church. And then you're telling me to go back there. And I just feel like I was being tossed to and from. And I know that God is not the author of confusion. And so I'm like, Lord, what is it that I'm doing? And I'm sitting up here and I'm penny pinching. I don't have a job. And I was like, God, am I being punished? Am I being punished? And you can hear so many motivational speeches, so many motivational messages and encouragement into where it's, you don't see a change and you be getting upset with it or whatever. And you really 
don't be want to hear it no more because after all of this and I feel like I don't put a lot of time in and I'm doing what the Lord asked me to do, but yet my life still feels shaky. It seems like I'm missing something in my life. So God, I was crying and talking to him about it, but God said he's not the author of confusion. Keep your mind set on the promises. Keep your mind set on what God has told you, no matter what's coming up against you, no matter where you go or where you have to leave from. God said, keep your mind set on him, on your mark. Stay on your mark. Amen. God says to stand on his word. That's your mark to stand on his word where he's told you and keep your mind set on him because it's go time for you. God said, when he opened up that door and let you through it, you're going to be working and working and working. So don't let the enemy play with your mind. Like there's nothing better for you. Like you stuck and stagnant. I told y'all that yesterday that God is not a God of keeping you stuck. God is a God of exit. He will not have you trapped in no situation or trapped in no circumstance that he's not going to help you out of. Amen. So therefore stay on your mark, get set, and go when it's time to go. Well, you all, that's all the word that I have for you all today. May the Lord continue to bless y'all and to continue to help you and strengthen you to stay on your mark, to keep your mind set and get ready to go. In Jesus name, God bless.